Good afternoon. Welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. So, you want me to see what you're doing? Uh, this is Alexa's kids. I know you like to do this, don't you? Yes, and now you're, you're too little. You can't reach that far. Um, our laundry basket is our main, main mode of transportation around here. I know this is so fun. You're on the floor. Uh, I love it at this age. They are six weeks and three days old. Oh, you're, this one's going, oh, God, I'm going to get out of the basket. It's okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> you can see this look. Oh, my goodness. It'll be all right. I know. It's scary today, but it won't be after this. No. It won't be after this. There you go. All right, I'm not gonna throw this because I'll scare the pajibis out of them. So we're just gonna set it down. Uh, these guys are getting super active. Um, they're playful, they're happy. They just got a bath today. They just got a bath today. Yes, we did. Um, they haven't really had toys down in the kennel because mom would just take them outside and shred them. Are you having a moment? Are you scared? Um, but they're doing super good. Oh, what did that do? She says, oh, I'm out of there. What did it do? I know. Did it scare you? This one says, how did she make that work? Here, it's this end. It says, I'm leaving. Hi, pumpkins. They are so fun at this age. I was out in the kennel sitting in, oh, here all coming. Sitting out in their kennel with them the other day, playing with them, and they're so cute. I know you still have this look of terror on your face, and you're shaking. It'll be all right. I'm not gonna reward you for shaking. So when you get your puppy home, if it's doing this and it's shaking and it's something new and it's scared, don't pet it, don't comfort it. You're rewarding it for doing that. So I figure putting her up here will let her see a little bit different view. And maybe you won't be so scared. No, maybe you won't be so scared. They're not gonna hurt you, she says. And maybe by the time we're about done with this, she will have warmed up. We'll see. Uh, they have, they had their first set of shots on Friday. Well, they're actually their second. Their first shot was a Neopar at four weeks old, which had nothing to do with their puppy series. And then Friday, they got their six week shot. I know, you back up again, you back up again. So, these guys will be eight weeks old on the 3rd of December. I honestly think they're going to be okay to go home. Um, the, the best thing I can tell you is um, I will send you home um, with a list of what we do with them, how we feed them, the same food that I'm feeding them. You'll get that. Um, it's just going to be a couple of these guys are... This one says, I'm going to creep over to that turtle. What is that? Oh, no, it's a dumb bear. I don't know what it is. But uh, like this chocolate one with the pink collar and the black that has the green collar and probably even the turquoise collar ones, I'm not going to worry about. It's the little tiny, what are you, orange collar and purple collar. Those are my two little ones that... I'm gonna be a little bit more worried about than the other ones, only because if you've got little kids, these are not little kid puppies. They're really not. Um, and I'm going to um, tell you how we feed and what we feed. Um, we also are giving them, um, the, when they come up here to the house, and I'm not gonna wean all of them at once. We're gonna wean the two bigger ones first, and then we're gonna go down in size to the others, but the two little ones will be the last ones that I wean. I, um, I'm i gonna start them on raw liver and raw hamburger. I know it, this is a brat. So um, whatever you do, don't cook it and feed it to them. You'll actually give them pancreatitis. Their gut is made for raw. God made them to, if they were wild, feral, they would kill birds and chickens and bunny rabbits and they would eat them. Uh, everything but the fur. They would chew the bones up and everything else. So raw hamburger and raw liver are the two only things I feed. Um, what we do is we butcher our own beef. So I have I have them give me all the livers because nobody ever wants the livers. So I got all five steer livers this time. And we cut them up in little tiny pieces. 
and we give it to them. If you give it in too big of pieces, liver can be stringy and it will get caught going down and they can't swallow the whole piece. So we cut it up in little tiny pieces so it makes it much easier for them to get down. And uh, look here, look here, look what I got. Looky there. So I'd much rather come play with you. I know you're back again. Uh, so the big thing in, is with these guys, I feed free choice on these two little tiny ones. I would absolutely not take any food away from them whatsoever. 24 hours a day, they would have food. Um, your puppy has a big chance of catching hypo or getting hypoglycemia until they hit five pounds. And these three little, these two little ones are going to be a while before they hit five pounds. Uh, the turquoise one's not too as big as that hair looks either. But the other two are doing, I'm not going to worry about them, they're doing good. Uh, they are all eating dry dog food. I don't put anything on their dog food. Um, and if you get them home and you think, oh, they're not eating enough, the best way to tell if they're eating is if they're pooping, they're eating. You gotta, what goes in's gotta come out. So if the dog food is there in front of them, that's what they're used to, and they will automatically, it's bigger than you are, kiddo, uh, they will automatically go over and eat. You don't have to doctor it up, force them, entice them. The big thing is don't give them lots of treats. Stay away from treats for a while. Their treat here is cottage cheese in the morning, maybe a liver or a hamburger in the afternoon. Oh, you made it. Good job. Um, and that's it. I don't do a lot of little treats. And if you're going to do little treats with this, the best thing I would tell you would be get a, a little bag of Bill Jacks or even Bill Jack minis and cut them in half. If you're going to get the regular big Bill Jacks, which look like a bullion cube, cut that in four pieces. And maybe only give them two of those a day, which makes eight little pieces. But people get a puppy home and they give it snack on top of snack, and this one's this, I'm gonna kill it. Uh, and then they, they don't wanna eat their dog food because they've filled up their calories on snacks and junk. Um, I am gonna start these guys on chopped up carrots. So when they go home, if you wanna stick with carrots, you're better off. Um, we feed midget carrots and we chop them all up and then give them to them as treats. So they'll have those when they come up here to the house. I know it. These are bad babies. So let's get started. I'm gonna give you weights, weights and measures. Ooh, what was that? I know. Are you my first? Are you, oh no, you're gonna be first. You're gonna, you're gonna ditch in line. Um, okay, let's start with the chocolate. You're, you're just a big baby. All right, so. Eighty-three sixty-six neon pink collar chocolate female. She says hi, folks. Hi, peoples. Hi, peoples. Let's see, and uh, two pounds four ounces. And just to give you an update on the little male, he is here. He's about as big or bigger than she is. Um, we are going to have surgery done. Um, we debated it. We talked to the vet about it. He says, I can fix it. And I said, great, and then we're going to fix it. So he'll probably go in sometime around eight weeks old and have his penis fixed. <laughs> and uh, he swears he'll be great. And I said, he gets along fine now, but we just need to fix that little flap of skin back where it needs to be. So we had to wait till he was old enough to put him under anesthesia. So he is going home eventually, but we're going to get him fixed first. So and then we'll put him back on. I know it. You're the bad girl. All right. I know I saw your tail go. That's good. If your tail's moving, your brain's thinking. And you got a tear. Did you get a hair in your eye? I know. I see. There's the tongue. All right. This is the little purple collar. Nope, nope, nope. 8363 is her microchip number. And she's got the little purple collar on. And she's got such a cute face, but she's like having a traumatic morph. Let me get your feet. You're not gonna fall. You're not gonna fall, I gotcha. There's her face. She's so cute. What are you doing? I see you. You're a brat. Yeah, you're a brat. Let's see what she weighs. No help from the guinea pigs out here. One pound, 10.2. Wow, you might make it up to two pounds before you go home. Yeah, if you come up here and start eating hamburger and liver, you might go to get up to two pounds. All right, let's do the other little munchkin. Where's she at? Here you go. 
This is the neon orange. I don't think you weigh as much as your sister, but we'll see. 8367. You're such a brat. They hate attention. They hate it, can't you tell? All right, let's see. Everybody's got to get off of here. Let's hold up, show them your face, sit you in my hands so you don't think you're going to fall. All right, let's see what you weigh. No, we don't need your help. One pound, 7.4. Yeah, I thought she was just a, you want to try to dismount? Let's not, let's not jump. Let's not jump. All right, quick, quick, quick. All right, you're next. I got you. You're next. You're next. This is the black female with the neon green. And she is 83.62. I know I'd hold still. I know you hate to be held like that. You're not going to fall. No, 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 no. You're not going to fall. Look, you can't fall. Nope, nope, nope. You got you to gotta hold still. No, you got to trust me. No, you got to trust me. Oh, she says, I'm freaking out. They hate that when they can't touch their feet on something hard. So if I get a hold of them, usually they'll quit. There you go. Now you'll be a little bit more. That's my pants you're trying to bite through. Yep, yep, you're a stinker. All right, Munchkin. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. You're all right. Oops. Two pounds, 4.5. Good job. Come here. Come here. Come here. I know. This is the turquoise collar. This is the other female. I know it. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. You've all been here. Yes, I know. Yes. This is Microchip 8368. And yes, I did get a new battery in my chipper. We shot Brooks little litter a little bit a little, bit, a litter a little bit ago and my battery was dead. <laughs> I thought their chip fell out. Alright. It's like duh, read the battery controller. Alright, let's see what you weigh. No helping. One pound fourteen point six. Woo! Good job. Good job. Yes, good job. Did we hold you up and get a good face picture? Are you getting better? I know you're not so scared now, are you? No, you're not so scared. Tail's going. When the tail goes, the brain goes, and they don't freeze up. So she's better. She says, my tail's going. My tail's going. Yeah, I'm not going to die down here. Nope, I'm not going to die. Honestly, they're doing great. They really are. Did somebody piddle there? Nope, you're just smelling something. Um, if you have any questions about these guys at all, you're welcome to give me a call. If you want to call and book in when you want to pick up, I'm going to send out your videos today, probably this evening when I'm on the computer. So you will get your uh, puppy pickup videos and you will get your vitamin information. No, I know it's just bad. You're all lickers. When they come to the house, we make them stop licking and we are really strict about it so um that and biting nope nope we don't let them upstairs this is their they've never had any training done at all so they're like little monsters so when they come in the house they're not allowed to chew us they're not allowed to chew our clothes uh nope they're pretty easy to do i just it's a quick snap on the nose i tell them nope and they usually change their mind and uh, it usually takes two days two days nope nope it takes two days and they don't do it anymore. No. Yes, you can come up. I do the same with licking. I absolutely hate to be licked. Um, I know how many butts they lick, how much urine they eat, and poop they eat. I don't want them licking my face or my hands. So hands aren't quite as bad as faces, but we don't let them lick us in the face at all. But um, So call me if you have any questions. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving with family. Um... I know we're having a big dinner here on Saturday, and we're having another one on Thanksgiving Day, but not here. So, uh, I have lots of cooking to do this week. But, give me a call if you have any questions. Um, I hope you are, your family takes a moment to count your blessings and think about what the Lord has done for you in the last year. And I know He has worked in our family and amongst our friends amazingly. So, be thankful for what we have. And grateful for even more and have a happy Thanksgiving and we'll talk to you next week